Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks going up against the Cincinnati Reds. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go on the hill for the Reds, Nick Lodolo. Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. And now the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. And the pitch. Up the middle. To first. One out in the top of the first. Time to take a look at the Diamondbacks lineup. And we check out the guy in the seventh spot, Christian Walker. Well, these days we know teams, you know, they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup. But a guy like this, they circle him. Make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so you know they put in a little extra time and effort and on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge difference maker when he's hot. So it's going to be fun to see how they try to work him right here. One out, base is empty. Lined, and that's a base hit. Batting third. One gone the runner at first. Base. Stepping Cattell. in, Cattell Marte, Marte, the National League leader in runs batted in this year. There's a strike, 95 of that one. He's been known to jump all over the first pitch, so that seems like a missed opportunity right there. That one, one misses at one and one. One and one. And here it comes. Eight. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, two strikes. Man at first, one away. Got him. Definitely not a parte for Cattell Marte. This is Corbin Carroll. Comes into this one with more homers than anyone in the National League. And there's a strike. Carroll in his second season. Batting in the cleanup spot. And he's a former rookie of the year. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Hit down on strikes. And that is that. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. Now it'll be the Reds' turn. No score. Back here in Cincinnati. And on the hill in this one, Jordan Montgomery. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look off. They're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And one pitch into the inning. It's a leadoff double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. You let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Will Benson. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. The 1 0. Swinging a foul straight back. 
Runner in scoring position. Nobody out here in the second game of the series. Sliced hard but foul. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And now it's going to be Matt McClain. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Friedel, the runner at second with one away. Ground ball up the middle. Throws to first. Two down. Batting four. Take a look at the lineup. He had the sixth spot for them in this one, Tyler Stevenson. And Boog, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's, it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. And when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency, that bat stays in the zone for a long time, and he squares up the baseball a lot. Jamer Candelario stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Two outs with a runner at third. Not no, no. close with that one. And that's ball two. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Two outs on the ground, right side. Marte slings to He's first. Out. Play made, that ends the inning. So one left for Cincinnati, scoreless after one. And we're back. New inning Arizona. getting started. And now Lourdes Gurriel Lourdes. Jr. Gurriel. The wind of the pitch. Guriel gets a piece. And the lefty with the 0-1. Oh, Just missed. Dave Lawrence behind the plate today. Consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Spook, that just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls, and as a result, He's appreciated by both sides. Out to center. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one away. That is good. The Randall Grichick, Grichick now. Grichick. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see them a lot. Yeah, Boog, they're all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So. When you respect that, I think, over time, you can develop a relationship with them. No score here in the second. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Reaches for it, but it's foul. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about oh. the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Batting seven, the first baseman, Christian Walker. 
And now it's Christian Walker. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. The pitch. Hit on the ground might be two. Feed to second, that's one. And that's two. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Now to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. And now the designated hitter for the Reds, Spencer Steer. Montgomery back to work. There's a strike. On one. Misses inside, and it's one and one. sure why he let that one go by I mean out of the hand it had a lot of the strike zone sure it had some good arm side run at the end to move to the outside part of the plate but with two strikes you got to be ready to swing it there and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands and here's the catcher Tyler Stevenson ground ball left side over to first two up two down batting seven the shortstop, Santiago. So digging in, Santiago Espinal. That one finds the zone. It's old one. The shortstop takes a ball. Headed down the line. Carroll moves towards it. Brings it in for the third out. No runs, no hits, no errors. We play two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at Great American Ballpark. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Hey, Eugenio Suarez. The line of the pitch. Bounce to the right. Steps on first for the out. Batting nine. The catcher, number 14. Now up next for Gabriel. Arizona, Gabriel Moreno. Moreno. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. And that's inside, off the inside edge. Ball one. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for hey. their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force that's there, that is a win-win every manager's dream. Bounced out to short. Espinal sends it across to first. Gets the catcher by a step. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Geraldo Perdomo. Grounded out his first time. Bounced up the middle. McLean tosses to first. And Arizona is set down one, two, three. Nothing doing here this half. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. No score. Back here in Cincinnati, here's the center fielder, Stuart Fairchild. 
And he deals. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. pitch back up the middle and a base hit man aboard on the leadoff single well a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle we saw the numbers coming into the ball game but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win here's Luke Maley Step off throw to first. No, Fairchild back in standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Boots it. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. at the plate now that's ball one one out and a runner at second here in the last half of the third check on the runner Fairchild back in on the dive left hand batter waits that one in there across the letters well we call that keyhole even though it's right there and looks pretty good if he doesn't love it he's not going to swing that early in the count runner breaks for third and that's a stolen base not even close when a guy's got that kind of lead at second base somebody's got to call a timeout pitcher's got to step off the catcher's got to ask the ump for time or something you can't let him get out that far when you don't have a good throw behind the plate He's going to steal third almost standing up. That's a really good job of being aggressive by the base runner. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Laser could be extra bases. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Now the number two hitter, Will Benson, went down on strikes his first time through. That one fouled off. Friedel leads off second with one gone in the inning. Edge in the zone for a strike. Oh, a two now. Well, you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open base and a runner on second. He's going to have to really tighten up his sights here, make sure that he can barrel up the ball. That one, one misses, two and it's one and two. Foul ball, he stays alive. Man at second. That one not close. Now two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. One run across in the frame so far here in the second game of the series. He goes down looking. 
Well, he froze him with the changeup right there, and I think he was yeah, so man. geared up for fastball. Once man. he recognized yeah. that it was off speed, he just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. And it goes just foul. The pitch. That's nope. a little oh, bit low. And a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Ripped on a line to center. Gritchick calls it in to end the inning. Run scoring double here for the Reds. It's now a 1 0 ball game. Start of the fourth. Now it's the DH, Jace Peterson. Peterson, 33 years old, and he's driven in eight runs over his last 10 games. A pitch in for a strike. Going one. You know, oh, these D backs, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Battling here as he fouls it away. And that's a little bit high. And that's ball one. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Here's Cattell Marte. Struck out looking at his first at bat. And there's a foul ball. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. Next pitch misses inside. And the count even one and one. And big swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the boat. Struck him out looking. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. The right field number seven, Jordan Carroll. Yeah, the batter now, Corbin Carroll. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. There's a strike. This one popped up. Espinal moves under it, makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for Arizona. They still trail 1 0. Bottom of the fourth, got a batter now. Jamer Candelario. Jamer Candelario. The pitch right down to shoot and it's 0 1. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70 percent. That's well above league average and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. On a bounce right side. Marte oh. throws the first in time. One up one down. The batter number seven designated hitter. Spencer. In now for the Reds. Steer. Spencer Steer. He's 0 for 1. Pitch is in there. That's strike one. 
To the right side, Walker. And he takes it himself for the out. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Tyler Stevenson. Next for Cincinnati, Tyler Stevenson. Grounded out his first time. On a line, base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. You yeah, often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. Now a chance for Santiago Espinal. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Reds leave one, but they hold a one-nothing lead. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Lodolo back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, these Diamondbacks just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times. And it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Fouled off down the right side. Chop to the left side. Candelario whips it across, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Next to hit for Arizona, Randall Gritchick. And he's already singled in this game. And that's off the inside edge. 1-0. Kicks and fires. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Here's a rocket out to left. Friedel calls it in, and there's two away. Now batter, the first baseman. And now the first baseman, Christian Walker. 0 for 1 so far. That Whoa. misses the zone, and that's ball one. Counts one and oh. The Reds up by a run, and we're at the top of the fifth. And that's another cool. ball. He swings and fouls one off. The wind of the pitch. That one hammered center field. That's back there. Off the batter's eye and gone. He crushes that one to center field. His fourth home run of the season. And we're all square. It's 1-1. This game is breathing new life thanks to that home run. And that's exactly what they needed. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. In there at the knees. 1 1. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Giving chase. Won't get to this one. It drops foul. Two outs. That's the third. Tosses the first. And that is the inning. Arizona gets even with this solo homer. All even at one apiece. Major League Baseball is on the show.
And we're back. John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five. Stuart Fairchild. Fairchild. As the lefty gets to work, just missed. Well, these Reds, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. And that's off the inside edge. Two balls, no strikes. Right through there for a strike. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Here comes a pitch. Okay. And another ball. That to right. Carroll tracks it down for the out. The first baseman, number 22. Luke, Luke Maley now at the plate. Maley. Rounded out his first time up. Ball That's one, no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Swings through that one for strike one. This game has one been so one. tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. The one one. Hey. And there's the strike. Fouls it off. Still one and two. And a pitch. Up the middle. Perdomo. Throw to first Here's is up. in time. Well, when we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand, the way it comes out of his hand as an infielder, wow, really impressive. Here's the left fielder, T.J. Friedel. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Line drive, base hit. And that extends the inning. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this now one. I don't know how he's field. able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Benson up for the third time and takes ball one. Friedel, the runner at first with two gone. There goes the runner. Pitch in for a strike. Safe in second, and he easily steals the bag. Yeah, I like being aggressive right there with two outs. It's kind of a classic steal situation. You get thrown out, no big deal. That guy at the plate leads off the next inning. Now, a single to the outfield can push a run across. Red, 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 
Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Around third. The throw in. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Eight. And now here is Gabrielle Moreno. <laughs> that misses the zone. And one and one. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. Emilio Pagan loosening up for manager David Bell. Jabot getting loose as well. And now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Hex and misses. It's a strikeout. Usually when you see several pitches, you're going to get at least one that you might be able to do something with. But they didn't exactly challenge him in any way right there. And really, they just used his aggressiveness against him. I don't think he even got a pitch in the zone. No, that's a good point, Siggy. He goes down on strikes, but not a single pitch was actually in the strike zone. Next to hit, Geraldo Perdomo. And that one is lifted in the air. Diving try, but it falls in. Base hit. No, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. You know what they say. He couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that. And certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Now it's Chase Peterson. One for two. And the first offering is not close. And now the lefty in the air out to center. Drops into the glove. Up next to the diamond, the second baseman, Ketel Marte. An outstanding hitter in Ketel Marte. Fought off foul. Oh, off the mark right. there. And the count is one and one. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Hard of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. All tied, 1-1. One, one. Back here at Great American Ballpark. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the second baseman, Matt McClain. And a pitch. That no, one misses, one and it's one to know. Activity in the Arizona bullpen, number 30. Up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello. Mansupply warming up as well. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. 
Now batting Jamer Candelario. One. And that's down and away. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The 1 0. And that one fouled off. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And here it comes. Hit hard on the ground to short. Perdomo on the first. One away, bottom of the sixth. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Spencer Steer. There's a strike. Right through there for a strike. Go ahead run at second here in the bottom of the sixth. Nice. Pulled out on strikes. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go ahead run in scoring position. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Stevenson. There's a strike. Man on second, two down. And that one fouled off. Next pitch is outside. And another ball. You know, we used to say, if you're scared, get a dog. Go the fastball, man. If you're scared, get a dog, man. Just, just get a dog. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. Now he gets it to the pitcher covering the bag. And they come away with an out after a tricky start to the play. So a leadoff double, but they can't cash it in. We're through six full. All tied 1-1. Back here in Cincinnati, all set for the start of the, the inning. And now the right seven. fielder, Corbin, Corbin Carroll. Carroll. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm Whoa, delivers. And takes low for ball one. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. And strike two. The lefty fires. Base knock center field. So the go ahead run is on base with a knock. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. Just so sound in oh, his mechanics. Hits against a firm front that's side, that's and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field.
manager out of the dugout now and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Nick Lodolo gives way and a nice effort out of him no doubt. New arm coming on. We'll be back for that in a moment. On the mound now Emilio Pagan. Well he's a big time strikeout guy out there this season averaging more than one per inning. Now Randall Gritchick. Squares pushes at it misses it it's a strike going one. At the belt and fires. That's in there. And a count is 0 and 2. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. And 1 and 2. Way to lay off that pitch down. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Righty delivers. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. So he needed a strikeout there, and he got it. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play depth, and look for a ground ball and roll it up get a big double play get out of this inning I tell you what that was a big strikeout in the spot where they really needed one digging in Christian Walker yeah. that one finds the corner it's 0 and 1 oh one's the count with the go ahead run at third here in the top half of inning number seven next yeah, pitch way up upstairs late on that fastball big pitch right here he's going to try to make a pitch it's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play two on one out and ball another three. ball Two two now. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step off and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Now up next for Arizona, A. Eugenio Suarez. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. That catches the zone for a strike, and it's 0-1. Guriel at first, two out of the inning. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and two. That's a really good take. And that one in the air, center field. Base hit into the outfield. In to score from third. And they take the lead in the seventh. No, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter, but when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. 
first and second two outs next up for the Diamondbacks Gabrielle Moreno two on two outs and another ball good spot for the hitter definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. That one finds the zone and that's strike one. Swing and a high fly ball deep left field way back there and it's gone home run that one felt good and they add to the lead it's 5-1 and that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Hitters today are looking to pull the ball and get it in the air. Even on a breaking ball away, does a nice job of staying square to the plate, allowing his arms to get extended and get good wood to it. New arm out of the bullpen, Brandon Williamson. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. So the batting order turns over. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And that clips the inside corner. Williamson, 26 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2019. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Two down, nobody on. Here in the second game of the series down the line snags it on the run and that is that but four runs score in the inning three coming right here on the three run homer it's now a 5-1 ball game it's Major League Baseball and it's on the show we're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh number 30 he's pitching on two days rest In now for the Reds, Santiago the Red. Espinal. The shortstop. Santiago Espinal. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. This is the zone, and he gets him to chase. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. The One shortstop ball. takes Two the ball. Three. Out to short, Perdomo gathers and throws to first, and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now batting, center fielder Stewart Fairchild. Next for Cincinnati, Stewart Fairchild. That one back up the middle and it gets through. So a man aboard now with one away. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something Number he could handle. Once Number you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now Luke Maley. 
on the corner for a strike. Now these guys oh, definitely one. looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Next offering is in for a strike. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. One Pitch ball. misses. Two one and two to Cal. Righty to the plate. Ground ball right side. That's a hit. Lead runner around second. Throw into third. Not in time. He's safe. The left fielder, number 20. So back to the top of the Reds lineup. TJ Friedel, the next to hit for the Reds. Three for threes, doubled twice and single. And there's the strike. Fairchild, the runner at third. Maley over at first with one away. That's down and in. One and one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. Nope, Just ball. missing there. Two balls, two strikes. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And the righty deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. The Reds trying to get back into this one. Here at the bottom of the seventh. The 2 2. Good job to fight that one off. The 2 2 now. And another ball. In this situation, he's trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. That's a really good take, knowing you got an opportunity to drive in a run here. Payoff pitch. Goes down looking. Really good battle right there. And that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He's hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Will Benson, one for three. That clips the corner. All ones the count. Two outs. And a foul ball. And the right-hander deals. Hey, got him. Third out. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Diamondbacks five and the Reds one. Ready to begin the eighth. And now the DH, Jace Peterson. Jace Peterson. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. Really good oh, no. cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Pulls that one foul. And 
and they'll do it again. Yeah, with two strikes here, you really want to miss outside the zone with that breaking ball. Swings and misses, struck him out. The batter of the plate. Cattell Marte up to the plate. Cattell Marte. There's the strike up high. Four one. Well impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, then you can play around a little bit more as the if bat expands. That one, one missed. On the ground to the left. The throw to first. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. So up next, Corbin Carroll. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Diamondbacks down quickly. They lead this one, though, 5-1. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Miguel Castro. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. 3 4 5 due up for the home team. Matt McClain digs in now. The pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Oh, one Moving Miguel. in the bullpen, Joe Mantiply up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello. Right handed reliever. Ball one. Good Ball eye two. in that spot. Close one doesn't get the call. Three and one. The pitch. Out to short. Perdomo. Fires across oh. the diamond. One up, one down. Deceptive the slider right there. Stayed the in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Kevin put it on the ground. Mario. Now the third baseman. Jamer Candelario. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. In the air, left field, down the line. Guriel handles the chance. Two away down. The batter, number seven. Designated hitter. Two Spencer. outs, base is empty. Now Steer. here is Spencer Steer. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. A little ball bit one. high. And that is ball Count one. one now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air, right side of the infield. 
stretches out and holds it in. Generally, not the type of great play you expect from a first baseman, but he does a great job of hauling that one down. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Ian Jabot. And he's had his struggles so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. And it's Lourdes Guriel Jr. The left fielder, Lourdes Guriel. The why to kick the pitch. Close, but call the ball. Ball one. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. The wind and the pitch. Swings through that one. They can live up one in the ball, zone right. all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Kicks and deals. Ball Off the plate, the two and one. And there's a ball. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. On the ground, right side. Oh, nice play. And very nicely done for the apple. I love the fact that the pitcher didn't become a spectator on this play. Nice job by the first baseman to dive, get dirty, knock that ball down. And if the pitcher's not there, he's got nobody to flip it to. Excellent job by both those guys. Next to hit for Arizona, Randall Gritchick. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Another multi hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Swings and lines one towards the gap. And that'll get down for a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And the throws offline, safe at third. Now batting, the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. One away, runners at first and third. Eugenio Suarez stands in now for the Diamondbacks. That oh, one a little bit down. high. One and oh. And another ball. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. First and third, one down. To short, could be two. Espinal over to second, and that's two. No runs on two hits, no errors, and one left. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. It's the Diamondbacks five and the Reds one. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Ryan Thompson. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. The catcher. Tyler Stevenson. The pitch. He caught it behind his back. And that's a great play for the out. Really nice job to get your the first out of the ball four. game. Shortstop, Santiago Espinal. In now for the Reds, Santiago Espinal. And first offering is fouled off.
The Reds down by four. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. One down, base is empty. Fights it off, he'll see another. And a pitch. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Here, the last half of inning number nine. They're down to their final strike. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Thompson is just one strike away. One that strike. one way outside. And the count one and two. Swing and a miss, and he got him, and that'll do it. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. The final line score for the ball game tonight. First for the victorious Diamondbacks, five runs, ten hits, no errors. They left five runners on base. For the Reds, one run on nine hits, no errors. They left seven runners on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and forty-five minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we remind you to please. Drive home safely.